Hello everyone out there, this is Ibido sitting here in this room with a webcam right there, talking to it. <laughs> I just started talking to it, I wasn't talking to it a minute ago because then I wasn't recording anything. So the reason I'm uh, on here today is because I got another day to waste. <laughs> I'm supposed to waste 100 days on this blog marathon thing and I thought doing one of these vlog things. <laughs> That's a start, right? That, that works. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Not much uh, happened today, actually, and I'm happy about that because I've had a lot of school shit to do. But something that happened was that uh, uh, there's an exchange student living with my mom right now uh, who's... Uh, he looks kind of like this. His name is not Manuel, but... Let's call him that because that makes him go Mexican name. Yeah. He wanted me to order since he's 17. He's uh, he can't uh, have his own. He doesn't have his own Visa or Mastercard and he doesn't want to buy games from retail stores. <laughs> retail. <laughs> Obviously since they're fucking expensive. And then he wanted uh, King of Fighters 13 for the PlayStation 3. And I thought, "All right." So I found that online. And ordered it and yeah weird thing is um, what I got was this if you're uh, as you can tell this is not a PlayStation 3 game this is a, an Xbox game um, but it says on uh, on this little slip that came with it it says uh, the King of Fighters 13 PS3. <laughs> yeah, they know their shit. I mean, this has got to be one of those, uh, the most basic mistake you can make if you're in, uh, if you're selling uh, video games. There are so many multi-platform games out there, and I mean, you gotta double check this thing. It's a big difference between. I mean, people, a lot of people only have one console out of the two, and uh, not counting the Wii's, and there aren't many multi-platform games for the Wii, and those that are, are shit on the Wii, uh, just saying, uh, yeah, but the weird thing is I got this, and tied, tied to that was uh, with a rubber band, basically, just uh, this. This is, uh, it claims to be a four CD compilation soundtrack. Um, and I'm not very big Bullshit. on, um, I'm not, I, I don't know much about the King of Fighters games, uh, especially not this one. So I tried to uh, Google this shit and turns out there is one, there is a four CD compilation soundtrack called, um, a King of Soundtracks, which is a collection of all the King of Fighters games from ninety four, uh, uh, from nineteen ninety four until this one, uh, that you can get if you pre order the game, but it d didn't look like this thing at all. Um, and on closer inspection of this thing, it it's kind of not very high um, high resolution on this. Th I don't even know. I'm not sure. It looks like someone made this cheaply. So uh, that's weird. And plus, it didn't say anything about being, um, being a uh, you know coming with a soundtrack or anything. It, it didn't say that on the website. So that's weird. Plus, it said it was a PlayStation Three game, which is it, it which it uh, certainly isn't, because this is uh, it's an Xbox game. But so I thought, hmm, might as well send it back and, and and tell them to fuck off and give me a new game. But then I realized, hey, he doesn't have an he doesn't have an Xbox. I don't have a PlayStation. I still want to beat his ass in this game. So I thought, fuck it, I can just keep this one and order another one, preferably from another store. This was B.com, some British place. Not to say that they are always doing this, but they did now. It was the cheapest one I could find. Uh, I guess that's what you uh, you get what you pay for, right? 
But this is the uh, deluxe edition, so I thought, let's make one of these unboxing things. People like those, right? No, they don't like those. You know, fuck it. I thought, why not? And um, it says on the back here that uh, the deluxe edition contains a uh, the poster, a poster, it's a fairly small poster, uh, a moves list. It's on the back of that, a list of moves you can do with all the characters an art CD, neat, and a reversible sleeve. Reversible sleeve, I thought? What's that? Um, not too hard to figure out. Uh, but yeah, I hadn't seen that before. I don't know if this is common, I, I don't know. But yeah, cool. So what is a reversible sleeve? It means if you take out this thing right here and turn it around and put it back in you get another cover now it looks like this instead nice um so yeah you got two different and this is a european edition um i haven't properly researched the different editions of this stuff. I was just happy that oh, it's a it's a deluxe edition. That's that's neat, cool. Um, and this of course meant you have your game disc. That's flipping the bird right there. Okay, uh, game disc and the art CD that I haven't. The art CD I haven't checked it out yet. Probably has some art on it. Could it be? No, um, yeah, I'm putting this back in there. And a manual. Ha! One of those things that you needed back in the 80s and early 90s. Now, not so much, but you still get them. With fighting games, I suppose there's actually a reason, because you can have some move lists and stuff. Then again, the move list is not in here, but on this other thing. So, yeah. It's a manual, it's in color, and uh, not very fat, but it's only English. So we're happy about that. Um, and here's the poster slash moves list. Ta-ta! It's, uh, as you can see, it's not very huge. It's a nice little wall thing, I'm a thing that you put on your wall or possibly keep in your wallet to show people on the bus. They'll totally enjoy it. And you could start reading um, out of people's moves lists for, uh, for fun. The moves list looks like this. It's a shorter uh, form of a move list with all or most characters, I suppose. And they're... Uh, their moves, how to do them. At least uh, six each. Cool, nice, enjoyable. Let's put this back here. So yeah, that's a nice addition. I'm gonna keep it this way because I like this cover. Um, don't ask me why, I think this is the official American box art maybe I'm not sure but good to have two of them otherwise it would just be white in there and, and that wouldn't be fun but still coming back to the soundtrack um I don't know I just don't know it does have a proper EAN -E code back here and it says Rising Star Games with a fairly I mean this looks legit but it just looks kind of cheap. And there's nothing on the side there, either. So, yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Google this right now. Since, you know, uh, I have a webcam doing this. <laughs> like so many other people do. Um, I can do this. Uh, King of Fighters uh, 13 mm, Sound Track CD. 
because um, I was checking out a little bit of this stuff earlier and the pictures just don't match what I've got here because the one uh, the one that came uh, as a pre-order it was kind of a fold out thing where you where you would basically fold out there and fold out like this and you had four discs sitting in uh, little paper sleeves tucked together you know that kind of weird thing this just looks like one of these promotional thingamabobs that you get with so am I gonna open it or not well fuck it I'm gonna open it why not right um, let's see if I got anything better than this fucking pencil hang on uh, uh, uh. See if I got something sharp and and dangerous. Um, no, fuck it. I can probably rip this up. So I'm gonna see if it actually looks like the ones on. Yeah, feels feels all right. Hmm. Follow the King of Fighters thirteen. Haha! Uh, <laughs> Look at this. Follow the King of Fighters thirteen fighters on Twitter. Oh, they have specific. Please don't follow them on Twitter. They don't exist in real life. They're just made up. <laughs> Um, follow Rising Star Games on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Okay, and then it looks like this. A soundtrack. Cool. King of Fighters, disc one, disc two, disc three, and disc four! Oh, awesome! Yeah, um, they don't look like the discs that they all have this kind of look on them and uh, they don't look anything like the one that I saw that you were supposed to get with the pre-order. This is not a pre-order, mind you. I had no idea there would be a soundtrack, so I'm just happy that there was something even though it was supposed to be a PlayStation 3 game. Again, B.com, you fucks. Um, and there's one of those fucking magic uh, scan code thingies where to watch a trailer. don't feel like doing that but yeah hey cool so yeah that was uh, that was that the uh, unboxing of King of Fighters 13 deluxe edition um, by SNK and Rising Star games and here's that one the soundtrack that I got without knowing ha it's so big and cool yeah, that's... I like it. Could have been PlayStation 3, though. Now I had to order another one. <laughs> well, that's... That's nice. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sit back and uh, play this fucker. So I got my... Uh, got the Xbox hooked on... <laughs> hooked up to this screen right here. So I can just switch between the computer and the Xbox and... Yeah, you know, that's that's how we roll. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Comment, maybe, if you know what the fuck this um, thing is. The soundtrack. Why is, it looks like that. Um, and that would be cool. <laughs> Alright. Another day wasted. Another day gained. Something. Look both ways when you cross the road and don't lick the poisonous toad. Beetle out. I'm back.